Let's see if it actually shows up. Will it show up? Yeah, game capture. The game should be captured. Okay. So it appears that I have not set this up for streaming. I wonder if there is a system system sound yeah network enables the use of IP version 6 technology So don't check that unless I know I have IP version 6. Okay, so I've got that. What about the advanced settings? Okay, so it appears that this does not have any um, visual, let's check my map here. Yeah, I'm on the right bluff, it's dreaming capacity. Let's check it again. Really, software updater, go away. My computer was like, I want to, oh, there we go. It is working. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, as you can see, we are not playing ESO today. That's because I discovered, quite simply, that I got bored. I really did get bored of ESO. Although, I am still paying the subscription, and I do log in every day to collect the rewards, I don't always play. I figured if I took a slight break from the story of Weights in Mountains, that I would come back with a fresh vigor to it. So today, after taking a break from streaming itself, I am streaming World of Warcraft Classic, which is the shiny new toy that my dad bought when he rebought his subscription to World of Warcraft. What brings you here? Turak Wind Totem. Alright. Luna Claw is a moonkin. Walk with the earth. That I learned oh, I that I actually it. defeated in combat. She. Oh crap. I have literally no money to spend. And my spells are between two and three silver. May the eternal sun crap. shine upon me. Well, it looks like I have some questing to do. That is the primary method which a person may use to make the golds to learn the spells in this game. Let's go talk to this guy. Greetings. Be advised, princess. I am in no mood for any comment that you think is cute or funny. I am here to make sure that the Archdruid's research proceeds as planned, and my orders are to weed out all non-hackers who do not pack the gear, 
to serve in my beloved Cenarian Circle. Okay? Be careful. Luckily for you, I ain't no princess, cause the person who is moy more princess-like would have taken deep and terrible offense at that and reacted very, very poorly. There's a second lift over here. Thunder Bluff has two lifts, one over here and one over there. Ah! Gotta make sure I don't walk off the edge. That could be a lethal fall. As a matter of fact, it would be a lethal fall. Anyway, this is the old school where you had ranks of spells to buy and you paid somebody to teach you them and at really, really high levels you talk to the well journeyman met. alchemist in the city. I hope you are more cautious than I was. Well, actually, yeah, I kind of am. We shall meet again. The uh, minor mana potions, as you can see, I can't make them yet. Pam, be careful. But I did buy them because I ha came across a vendor. Hello. You have the same capacity to um, buff that I do. So I'm going to buff myself. My favorite thing is to run around on a little druid or some such like and buff whoever I pass. Especially if they're of a class that cannot buff themselves in this game like a rogue or a warrior. That's my favorite thing to do. I do actually have a level one rogue though. Not ready to learn heavy lineage. Ancestors yet. watch over. Now I also have some auctions going on right now. I went to Booty Bay and I sold my Elixirs of Lion Strength that I made for strength. Good for a character who enjoys fighting in melee combat. And... Oh! There's the Arathi base in Battlemaster. Clarice Foster gives you a quest at level 15 so that you can go to the Undercity. There's a priest trainer, a mage trainer, a portal trainer, Royal Apothecary Society, more mage trainers and more priest trainers. These I'm guessing are if you happen to be not a Torin. Although I think Torin can be priests in classic. I'll have to go to the character creation screen and find out. Anyway, <laughs> that dude's name is Nasty Fridge. Um, but I digress. Uh, the character creation screen. I'm not sure if Torin can be priests or not. I know they can't be mages. Once again, a function of the old school is that you had to be a certain race to play a certain class. And I am going to fish because I want to make some food and level up my cooking skill as well as my fishing skill. I am almost at the level where I need to have my fishing up to at least level 50. My fishing's at like 30 some odd right now, but you have to level up your skill in fishing before you can fish in the waters of a new zone. Yep. 
38. I had managed 37 before I stopped the last time. Ooh, that druid's old enough to be a cheetah. Once again, the old days of wow. Now in the new wow, you'd have to have a glyph to turn into a cheetah. Everybody turns into a stag at their base level. And you get that stag transformation at like... 15? I think? And this happens sometimes when you fish in the old days. Your fish actually gets away. When your skill is low enough, of course. It does also happen at higher level fishing when you um, let your timer run out. and you forget to click the bobber. I find it so fascinating, the interesting little bits of flavor that get lost over time when a game updates itself. And I think I'm rather liking the slow pace that this game moves at. Although not catching any fish persistently is a little bit... No, it's not frustrating. I'm just thinking that it would be if I was in a hurry. But right now, both of my housemates are doing some errands. Errands which cause them to not need the internet. In fact, they're not even at the house right now. Hello. Loch Ness Bull. Aw, did you just heal me? Here. There you go. Always glad to help. You know, I thought it might say something like that if you say slash welcome. But now I've actually heard it. Oh man. Elmlash. Interesting name. Now if I remember correctly, druids in this version of the game don't get resurrection until level 24 or was it level 20 either way it was at relatively high level compared to other classes that get resurrection as one of their core skills and we also have to have seeds in order to do it tree seeds to be precise the first is a maple seed and then as you rank up in your levels of resurrection, you need various seeds. There was a time, I don't remember exactly when, when they did away with that. But it wasn't in vanilla. I remember, actually it persisted for a long time until sometime into Wrath of the Lich King, in fact. The Death Knights used to have to use corpse dust and buy corpse dust in order to raise the dead when they first came out. And there also used to be like little trinkets that a character would carry. In the case of a druid, that would be a relic Paladins needed a holy symbol, and I'm not sure what the other classes needed, but they had um, things that they carried that were of use to them. I'm guessing that it used to be Um, actually, no, it is that they replaced, um, 
your fish getting away with catching a piece of trash from the water in the new game. Because... Because they don't really do that whole, your fish got away thing anymore. What I'm really hoping is to catch enough fish to get myself to... This is my bear form that I just got. I completely forgot to show you that. The immune to polymorph increases melee attack power by 30, and armor contribution from items by 80% and health by 20. But I tend to use... my skills Moonfire 2 Moonfire 2 Wrath 2 Oh good, so I do have my skills updated There's my fishing <clears throat> yeah, that's my bear form. I imagine at level either 15 or 20, I'll learn how to turn into a cat. A fighting cat. Fighting cats can sprint, and they naturally move, or at least they do in the new version of the game, just a little bit faster than regular running. But you don't move really fast until you get to turn into a cheetah. I don't know if that hap what level that happens at. I suppose I'll go find myself a druid trainer and show you. And show myself too. It's been so long since I've actually played this version of World of Warcraft. I do have access to the new version, that one that's current. Oh man. But that one I like to play as kind of like a potato chip. You don't have to think very much and go very slow at all, unless you're playing high-level content. The characters are nearly indestructible. Particularly as it comes to questing in leveling zones. Alright, four brilliant small fish, two long jamba snappers, and four, now five, bristle whisker catfish. I've got the recipes to make all of these. <clears throat> I've got the brilliant small fish learned. You can learn that one at level 1. Long jaws are level 50, cooking. And bristle whiskers are 100 level cooking. But what I have in my bag right now is kodo meat. And it's about the same level of food as I have on my bar for buffs right now. Um, so it's actually going to be outdated soon. Right now I have a gray weapon as a staff. Okay, let's see if I can catch <clears throat> one more fish. I promise myself that I will move on when my fishing reaches level 50. I'm wagering that the Barrens requires at least level 50 to fish, and that's the next zone I'll be questing in. 
Although I probably could go over to the baby lands of the orcs and trolls and then obtain more levels, but I have a bunch of quests in the barrens now. See? I've got a Thunder Bluff quest. Oh, You don't get to compare armor in this version. So, yeah, you can see I've got in the barrens a whole bunch of quests. And then in Ragefire Chasm, which is a dungeon in Orgrimmar, I've got two quests. S. There's an S there. It's plural. Anyway, it's time for me to head to the bank. The bank, the bank, the bank! Ah! Well, hello. Bank bag! Is her name. There we go. Chesmu! Ah, hello. I've been expecting you. And the long jaw mud snapper, the smoked sage fish, which is one I forgot I had purchased. And the bristle whisker catfish. The sage fish are gonna be my best bet here. because they restore mana, and I tend to run out of mana a lot. Oh yeah, and small eggs. Spiced wolf meat! Sounds like a vendor, doesn't it? Let's put these down here. Take that off. Walk with the Earth Mother. I need to level up my unarmed skill. I discovered a new er mechanic. Hello. That new mechanic. is that when you go to a place now it's not about places i just realized what i was talking about realized that i had it all wrong um when your weapon breaks your weapon will eventually incur durability damage and it will break when it does break, it actually disappears from your character's hand and you start using your unarmed skill. Under those conditions, it makes sense to have your unarmed skill as leveled up as you can make it because then you don't get, like, destroyed by the Walk thing that you're attacking. Uh, Usually, if your armor is damaged, you. then so is... We'll be at your back. Trade goods and supplies. This is the one well, I need to talk to because she has mild spices. And I can make an herb baked in egg. Go in peace, serve the Lord, thanks be to God. I always think about that when they say that. It's a old habit from back when I was a little Lutheran girl. I should probably buy myself some milk, but I definitely don't have the money. This is going to leave the station before I reach the end of the platform, 
so I'm going to take the other one. See? It would have started falling just as I got there. Although I probably could have caught it, I chose not to take that particular risk. Alright. So. Hey, that's too far out. We're going over here. There are some dwarves who have been creating absolute and total havoc on the ecosystem by digging. Dwarven digging. Collect five prospector's picks. At the forge, smash the prospector's picks to create broken tools. Bring five broken tools to Bane Bloodhoof in Bloodhoof Village. These dwarves are preparing a dig site to the northwest. They think secrets lie in the earth, and that is true. But hollowing and defiling the land is no way to earn its teachings. Collect the dwarven tools, smash them, and return to me with the dwarves' broken tools. You can smash the tools at a forge. You will find one in Thunder Bluff, but any forge, even a forge at the Dwarven camp, will suffice. What I forgot that this quest did was give me rough-hewn Kodo leggings. Right now, I am wearing Novice's Pants, which has given me two armor. That is two armor. Well, I currently have 251 armor. On me. But having more armor is a good thing. Especially in this game. Because, well, I have to be careful not to get mobbed. I can get mobbed by the aggressive mobs out here. This looks like a cave. It looks like the cave that they send you to in the vision quest. I have the last part of that vision quest, but as you can see by my level 10 ranking, I've been doing a lot of quests on this character. Before... Oh look, I found... Wind Fury Harpies. And silver leaf, Wonderful! I just put the lion's strength up for auction on the neutral auction house. Let's see if I can make myself... Okay, so let's hit the shift button, put that over here. buff potions go out on the end. Oh, I almost ran into you. Hello. She's a caster. These are noids. They'll run away after a certain amount of blood. La 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 Of damage they take. She gave me a cracked bill. That's pretty good to sell, actually. So I'm not agitated by this in the slightest. All right. My mana drinks are officially gone. What I also find interesting is that Entangling Roots and certain other spells for this particular class can only be used outdoors. So you do actually have to adjust your strategy depending on your location. Oh good, a Wind Fury Talon. Oh, crap. 
I'm out of room. Yeah, let's see what doing things in the air is. Need more rage. Not enough rage. Need more rage. Okay. Need more rage. Need more rage. Not enough rage. Need more rage. Cool. Oh, I got water! Excellent! I'm so drinking that. <laughs> oh, and the flint and tinder and the simple wood, that's for making campfires. You actually have to make campfires with reagents in this version of the game. So, essentially, this is, like, identical to Vanilla WoW. Those of you who have played Vanilla WoW, you'll know exactly what this is like. And there's a bit of a nostalgia factor going on with, uh, oh good, something I can sell. Yeah, with something I can sell, Ooh, and a battered chest. I am happy. Anyway, um, now I know what my strategy is. Wait until I obtain rage. I wonder if my weapon skills affect... And Silver Leaf! Oh! I died, so I have to turn on herb finding again. Yeah. Let's find herbs, please. I like finding herbs. Nice that the potion for mana gives you back more mana. Like, that'll give me back nearly half of my mana. I'm gonna save that potion until there's a big fight. Or until I want to get something. Oh, ow. My arm. Sorry, guys. I know, I know, you've heard about my arm like 6,000 times, but it's still, well, the tendon's being a little snarky. But I don't have the brace on it, which is an improvement. Normally, it's smarky, snarky, even without the brace. Grab a harpy. Grab a chest. Hopefully I have space in my inventory. And holy shit. There's a lot of awesomeness going on here. I can't carry anymore. Whoops. All right, so it's time for me to make three linen bandages. Because I utterly forgot that linen bandages take up inventory as well as herbs. In this game, if you want your items to, uh, All right, so I've got one piece of bloom. What? My parents got locked out. I need to go get them. How'd they get locked out? They should have had keys. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. 
The stream has come to an abrupt end because I have the promise of lunch. And going out to lunch is not a common thing for this household. So I thank you very much for watching.